Well, yesterday, that was 11 years ago that Arsenal beat Barcelona, one of the greatest nights at the Emirates, probably one of the greatest nights of English football, actually, uh, and without doubt, one of the greatest performances by an Englishman, and he's in front of me to tell us more about it, Jack Wilshere, stole the show. You were, what, 12 years old that day? What were you, 19? 19, yeah. 19 years old. Um, talk to me, I mean, I look at the, the Barcelona side, you've got Messi, you've got Pedro, you've got David Villa, you've got Iniesta, you've got Busquets, you've got Xavi, um, PK, Abidal, Dani Alves, I mean, it's just a Victor Valdez, a, ridic- a frightening Barcelona side. Mm. Um, just tell me, leading up to that game, were you always going to start it? Was it a late call? What was your... I'd played pretty much every game up to that. Right. Um, played in the group stages, played a lot in the Premier League. Um, but that was, it was definitely like a, a step up from all of that. Can you put your finger on why all of a sudden everything clicked for you that night? I wouldn't say it just clicked that night. I was I was improving game by game that, that whole season, getting more confident in the Champions League, scored a few goals in the Champions League. Um, and yeah, that, that was a good night, but it, I was building towards that. Do you think subconsciously, sorry, but do you think subconsciously when you're, uh, my questions will be better than yours, <laughs> do, you think, do you think subconsciously that you, you're, you, you raised your game because of who you were playing? I raised my game in the game. What do you, you explain that? I, what I you get mean? that, I know what you mean by Yeah, that. so I remember that when, when the draw was made mm-hmm. and like the lads were like, oh, and they played them the year before and got battered. And then in the game, I remember thinking, oh, okay, this is why they they thought we didn't really stand much of a chance. Um, they were just like making small passes between. You remember when they used to do that, like, yeah, tiki 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 yeah. like Man City play. Yeah, a little bit like that. Now, different to Man City. Yeah. Different. Like two little five. I feel little like Man City are more expansive. Like the midfielders come higher. Then the midfielders were, were always close to each other, just playing, like drawing you out and like waiting for you to press and to play around you. And Messi would get it. And I remember thinking, there was one moment in the game where I made a tackle, I slid, I think it was Iniesta, and I won it and I took it past um, Busquets and I just felt the crowd lifted and I lifted my game from there. Incredible. Were you nervous beforehand? Yes, in, in a tunnel. Were you looking across and thinking, well, oh I was, goodness? I always walked out behind um, Sesk and he was obviously friends with all of them and he was saying hello to all of them and I was just stood there like, just looking forward, didn't want to look at them. I, I always wonder as well, sorry Andy, my question about yours. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I always wonder, see, after the game, and obviously you played as well as you did, you won the game, did you, did any of them say anything to you like, well played or... No, nah, they were fuming. I had a, were they? I had a little bit of um, beef with Busquets. Go on, why? Um, just because I thought, you know what, Busquets was like, great player, one of the best, but if you touched him, he'd go down and... He did it about five times to me, and in the end, I just snapped. <laughs> and what happened? Well, I can't repeat what I said. Okay. On national and, radio. And when you when you said this to him on the pitch, then what happened? What was his reaction? He, there's a picture of him like in my face. All right. He wasn't happy. Uh, he was the, probably thinking, "Who is this little kid telling me?" You know, we think that when yeah. you turn up on a Thursday. <laughs> 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 after after the match, Pep Guardiola said this about you: "Wilshere is a top player. He's an excellent player, not just Arsenal, but also for the national team." But. He's lucky because we have many players in the second team like him, but he plays because there is no pressure at his club to win titles. You've seen that before, that quote. Is that just sour grapes? Well, I think it's mind games, wasn't it? Because we obviously had a second leg coming up. Mm-hmm. Um, what happened in the second leg? I can't remember. Van Persie got... We got robbed. Van Persie got yeah, sent he, off. Yeah, remember? Yeah, he kicked yeah. the ball after the whistle. It was like 0.8 seconds after the whistle went. You and he couldn't hear anything. can't hear anything in the new camp. No. That's crazy. Yeah, and he got sent off. I remember after that game, I've never seen Arsenal like that fuming. Was he? He got banned after that, actually. Well, just going back to Pep's comments, when you heard that, when when did you hear That's obviously not the first time you've heard it. When did you hear that for the first time? Was it after the game? Yeah, after the game, I heard it. But what, what did you make I of his I couldn't comments? remember all he said. I, I only remember him saying, Wilsh is a top player, but we've got many of them in the, in the second team. That's what I remember. I didn't realise he how, said... Uh, how did that make you feel? I, I, I think I laughed, actually. And probably agreed. They had... Um, Tiago, didn't they coming through? Oh, goodness. Yeah. Did you, did you play in the game England Spain? We won one 0 at Wembley. Did you play? What year was that? I can't remember what year. No. It was. But the only reason I said it is because obviously that midfield there was the exact same midfield. Yeah. Iniesta, Xavi, Busquets, I remember, and then David Silva coming off one yeah. side. David Villa, and I could remember obviously the way that they played and looking at crossing the tunnel, thinking, "Oh my goodness." You know what? I look at our team there, and yeah, that was probably our strongest team. Maybe. Uh, Giroud was playing because there was an injury to Vermaelen but I remember 
um, now looking at it, uh, Bakary Sanya was suspended. Now, Ibue was a great player, but um, Back was probably a little bit better defensively. Yeah. And, and against them, you would have thought we'd have gone a little bit more defensive. But he was suspended. But he was unbelievable that night, Ibue. Let me ask you, on the right-hand side, you had Theo Walcott. Mm. Right? Did he fulfil his potential? Well, in that game, he was actually really important for us because we obviously spent a lot of the time without the ball, sort of defending deep, and he was our way out. I remember winning the ball back a few times to give it to him and his speed would get us up the pitch. Did he... Reach his full. Well, he scored a hundred goals for Arsenal. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. But when he was People coming through, when you, yeah. when you got him from Southampton, he was like, this, "Wow, this wonder kid." I right. think he took time to to fulfil it, but there was a time when he was a massive player for us. Just before, I remember when all the talk about his contract was going on, and he he wanted to play up front, and he played up front for a few games, scored loads of goals. I remember playing one game, he scored a hat trick. You get four against Newcastle. Yeah, that's the game. He scored four. Yeah, yeah. he scored one unbelievable scoop, solo yeah, goal. The yeah, scoop. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I really enjoy playing with him. And for a midfielder, like when you pick the ball up deep and you've got him running behind, I mean, to this day, I've never played with anyone quicker. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, the shirt you wore, the boots you wore, and all that, do you keep it from this game? Is it all, is it all um, up on a frame on the wall? Is it what, what have you Yeah, I, I got um, Messi's and Xavi's shirt from that game. Did you? Mm. How did that come out? I didn't give him mine. I'm not sure they'd want it in mine. Um, I asked Fabregas to get it. Okay, so after the game, after was the it game, the yeah. second shirt then? Was it covered in grass? Because you get two shirts per game, right? Yeah, it was covered in grass. Oh, so it was the one he wore? Yeah. And you got both of them? Both of them. Wow, where are they? So you got all the three shirts, yours and those two? Yeah. And where are they Are they framed? Are they on a wall? Are they a snooker room? They're in my son's room. All oh, right, okay. One of them, Messi is. The Javi one is with, like, put away with all my yeah. shirts. That's cool, isn't it, to have the Messi mm. shirt from that game? And where's your shirt? From that's that in the drawer as well. That's in there as well. That's fantastic. Mm. When was the last time you watched back the highlights of that? Yesterday. On Twitter. Nine and a yeah. half, half minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I watched it with my son, actually. Okay, and what was he saying? I didn't know that, Dad. I didn't know you were that yeah. good. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Why aren't you doing that now? What's the latest with that? Well, anything out with Ipswich, or you want to go to a proper club? Hey. Well, you know what? I think if um, if Marcus Bent would have said something... Instead of Darren Bent, well, he might have had a chance. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to write to it, don't worry. <laughs> <I? laughs> Matt Holland was in today. Did you see him? Yeah, I did. Proper it's yeah. legend, yeah. Proper legend. Maybe he could have said something for me. Yeah. yeah. Is he like still involved with the club? Yeah, heavily. Yeah. Oh, of course he's statues and everything. Yeah. Why didn't you introduce we, me? Then? Yeah, we've got we've got statues. But me and him both got statues. You haven't got a statue. <laughs> <laughs> but no, oh, no, no, I would no, love that. You like, next time he's only downstairs. He's doing the cocom. So did anything come of that that conversation? He didn't want to go to Twitch. He didn't want to go. I but didn't you, say I did not want to go. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Okay. Find the audio, Ollie. Find the audio. Okay. But if the phone doesn't matter. 